Welcome back to my front yard. I'm happy to report that my plants are still alive after two months of my front yard transformation. Today's video is part three of the series where I will show the reveal of the yard. And if you haven't seen the first two parts, I'll link them at the end so that you can go back and see all the hard work that went into this front yard transformation. So let's get to it. I never thought I would say this, but I actually like taking care of these plants. I enjoy watering them every day. I don't know, there's something so satisfying about caring for living plants and enjoying the beauty of creation. It's our little oasis. Maybe now I'm confident to try growing some real plants indoors. Now for the reveal. Remember my terrible little sketch in these before pictures? Well, in my brainstorm, this is what I really saw. I'm so excited. If you like it already, scroll down and press the thumbs up button. I'm gonna show you every area from every angle. Step one of the plan was to establish a focal point of the yard, and that became our fire pit. We call these our Moses stone tablets. These pavers surrounded by gray slate invites you to walk up to the pit and relax by the fire. Walking under the arbor makes you feel so welcome, like it's the entrance into a secret garden. Eventually, I may train some wisteria to grow up the sides of the trellis. Now I have these two separate trellises on the sides of the arbor right now, but I think I wanna move those to another location of the yard. And I'm, I have four of them total, but I'm thinking about maybe planting some herbs in those. This arbor that I found on Pinterest is inspiration for a future project. I'm thinking of putting a low fence around the front yard to make it more of a courtyard. This should also discourage neighbors and strangers from tracing across my yard when they pass by. The patio set serves as another shaded destination to sit and have a meal, a drink, or just relax. Here's a closer look of the pattern I decided on for the decking tiles. When not in use, we take the umbrella down and store it in the house. We put the cushions on the table and cover everything up locking the chair legs together at the bottom. After a good meal, maybe you want to stretch out. These lounge chairs came with a built-in headrest pillow that can slide down the back of the chair to become a lumbar pillow. Mom added the gray throw blankets that we keep on the seats for those breezy, chilly evenings. The drink trays also came with the chairs, which can be detached when the lounger is fully reclined. And again, when not in use, we cover them up to keep the fabrics from fading in the sun and keep them free of dirt and debris. This also deters stray cats from making themselves at home in our chairs. How about an afternoon nap? This hammock is perfect for wrapping yourself up in a cocoon and spending a lazy day outside in the yard. We keep the fabric part of the hammock stored in bins to keep it clean. This is a nice way to reward himself after cutting all that grass. In order to keep the rocks in place, I used a heavy-duty plastic edging that stakes 12 inches into the ground. And there's black tarp underneath the rocks to block the grass from sprouting through. Guys, it took three days to complete the fire pit area using the brick and sand method. This size fire pit has about 400 pavers that I laid one by one to make this pattern. Once all in place, we wet it to set the paver sand. Later, I'll go back with a layer of polymeric sand as it settles. I placed these two tall planters as a dramatic entrance to the pit. In order to take the cover off of the cantilever umbrella, I used this retractable wand. It came with it. Here are some images too on how we 
care for our pieces so that we don't have to keep repurchasing them over and over every season. So now I'll just let the music play so that you can see how we've been enjoying using our front yard so far. My husband likes to work outside. Even Milo is relaxed. It's a great place to read an insight book or a magazine. Is it a park bench, a desk, or a picnic table? How about all of the above? And for those evening meals when you want to eat outside bug free, check out this umbrella screen I found on Amazon. At the base of the screen, it has this plastic tubing encased that you can use a hose to fill it with water. This will create weight for the screen to hold it in place on windy days, and it stretches the screen taut. It zips open and close from inside and outside. It easily slips over your umbrella in seconds, and it's kept in place by a drawstring closure on top. It's lightweight and it's sheer so that it doesn't obstruct your view. We love it. It works great. And here's a view of the fire pit at night. The solar lights are from Amazon and they flicker just like the fire in the pit. I still have some leftover bricks and deck tiles to do something in this area directly in front of the house. I'm thinking a solid surface for the grill to rest on, a rock garden, ooh, a water feature. Maybe the four trellises here for an herb garden. Or do I need more potted plants? The possibilities are endless. What do you guys think? Leave me a message in the comments section below. Remember the empty patch of yard where the patio set used to be? Well, the grass and weeds are growing back now. Follow me in future videos where I'll show you how we throw down some three-in-one grass seed to kill the weeds and green up the lawn. We're learning new techniques from another YouTube channel called The Lawn Care Nut. He's very knowledgeable and fun to watch. I'll leave a link so you can check him out. Hopefully you are inspired to decorate and celebrate outdoors. Enjoy your summer barbecues and those lazy days in the front or backyard. Come see me next week for more creative ideas on decorating, event planning, and lifestyle. I'm Steph Storm, and you'll see me next time.